Well, hey guys, what's up? It's your boy AI Legends, and yeah, guys, today I am back with the next part of what if Naruto was the reincarnation of Jiren and was neglected by his family. Well, guys, if you guys are new to this channel or if you guys have not subscribed yet, please guys do so. It will really, really help me a lot as I want to reach 10k as quick as possible, and it will really help me. And if you guys are new to this series, then please check my channel. I have upload it eight parts of it before and i'm pretty sure that you guys will like this series so without any further ado let us start our video from here on last time we left off as we saw that manma and mito showed off the immense power of the 90s chakra under control kcm2 as well as sasuke showed off his mangekyo sharing gun along with the curse mark stage 2 but naruto was able to easily defeat the complete Susano of Sasuke as well as able to knock him out as Manma and Mito were able to show off their 90s chakra and even summoned their summonings wanted to intimidate most of the people there wanted to show them their dominance and the power over their brother as they were laughing but then Naruto chuckled telling them that how even if they have the 90s chakra they do not have the complete control nor they can even transform while on the other hand Naruto who has defeated a complete biju not only that the jinchuriki of that biju was a you can say a Kage level shinobi as everyone was in awe they did not knew that information as May simply agreed on that as everyone was pretty shocked about it as Naruto smirked as he powered up into his immense power shaking the all five elemental nations while on the other hand two Utsusukis just landed on the earth and rushed towards Konoha wanted to see this immense power and if possible wanted to make it a chakra fruit and simply ate it now let's uh, let's start our video from here on, as Naruto was looking towards Manma and Mito with this immense power, as Naruto smirked, well, if you are showing this, why not show, why not I go into the intimidation as well, as Naruto smirked, as his ki started to rotate all around his body, and then just like Son Goku, a dragon was formed all around Naruto, as Naruto was standing on the head of the dragon, as everyone was in awe. This was not some summoning or anything, but instead it was just a power which has taken the form of a dragon. As Naruto was looking down upon both of the summons, because the dragon which Naruto made from his key was far bigger than both Gamabunta as well as Katsuya. As Gamabunta looked towards Menma and said, Menma, it seems that we have to use all of our power if we want to beat this guy. It's strange this power i'm sensing it really really is strange different from chakra that i know as manma said huh it does not matter i'm the child of prophecy i'm destined to win this battle as mito said the same thing yeah it does not matter he's just nobody he's just a loser a failure and nothing more than that at kasuya simply nodded well mito san well if you say that as Mito said, all right, let us finish this. As Gamabunta bring out his sword, as Minato stood up, what is Gamabunta doing here? As this is a tuning exams, as Kushina looked towards Jiraiya. Jiraiya, what is the meaning of this? As Jiraiya said, well, they do know the summoning Chutsu, and it's just a, you know, Chutsu. I cannot stop them, and I was, I'm not the one fighting there. As both, you can say, Tsunade and Kushina glare at Jiraiya, as Minato was wondering what is going to happen now, because deep down he already know that things are going to get a bit ugly here as he looked towards his armbow so simply nodded going through once again hand signs making a barrier so that all the attacks could be remain in the tune in exam stadium as Manma said, all right, Gamamunta, let's show him the power of the true child of prophecy. As Gamamunta nodded, as he quickly go through, Manma go through hands and as Gamamunta release a lot of oil towards Naruto, as well as Manma speak out a lot of fire into it, making a gigantic stream of fire. As Mito also go through hands and then release the same attack as Katsuya released her AC towards Naruto, as Naruto point a single finger towards it. Huh, now I'm going to show you your true place. As a shine, you can say, started to appear in the finger of Naruto and then a beam of immense power radiated from his finger and then rushed towards the both combined attack of fire stream and essay from both Kamamunta and Katsuya as both of them became a bit of struggle but in the end Naruto's beam overpowered easily but before it could hit the ground it simply vanished as Naruto smirk, huh, well I'm going to have a bit of fun here after all it has been some time since I had a fun as Gamamuta said, damn it, he's able to overcome that, oh what, I'm going to take him down, Bring, bringing out his sword at Katsuya, also, you can say, was ready to rush towards Naruto, as both of them rushed towards him, as Naruto said, huh, two 
insignificant insect trying to crush me huh well i have more than enough of you as kabapota said all right shut up you little brat as he stabbed his sword into the ground where naruto was standing after jumping from his dragon and dispersing it as wanted to show off his immense power to these two beast as Kamabunta slammed his sword into it as everyone stood up wanted to see this battle as Minato greeted his state he wanted to have a talk with Kamabunta after this as while on the other hand Katsuya also rushed towards the area releasing a lot of acidic you can say AC towards the area as both of them jump away as Manma and Mito were smirking. Now that will show that loser as then suddenly whole ground started to shake and then there was a tsunami appeared of the aesthetic you can say AC that was released by Katsuya and everything was sent flying as Naruto was standing as his ski was all around his body protecting him from any type of attack as Naruto smirk huh well I have more than enough of you two insects now it's about time that I take care of you as Kamabunta said all right this is more than enough as he was about to rush towards Naruto but Naruto simply vanished from the area as Kamabunta said where did he go as then suddenly something grabbed his sword which Kamabunta had in his hand as Naruto started to pull Kamabunta into the mid air as Kamabunta's eyes were Widen as Naruto slam him into the ground and then kicking the sword, making it, you can say, breaking it apart. As then he rushed towards Kabubunta and punched him on his face, sending him flying into the barrier and with a single key blast, rushed towards it. Boom! As whole barrier shook as everyone could only see the blast and then the next thing they knew, Kabubunta was on the ground, pretty really badly injured and then poof! As he reverse summoned himself to the world of the torts. As Naruto looks towards Katsuya, who rushed towards Naruto, as Naruto smirked, as he pointed a single finger towards her and then released it. As the shocking wave of air rushed towards Katsuya, as Katsuya tried to separate herself, but then this wave was so strong that it started to cut even the short bodies of Katsuya. As Naruto said, Huh, you guys are really annoying. As he started to fly within the air and released a small key blast towards it. And then there was another explosion as Katsuya was several of her body parts simply evaporated into nothing as even Tsunade felt a pity pretty bad about it but still Katsuya should not have arrived here on the request of Mito this is Chunin exams this is no war as Katsuya the remaining body was pretty injured so she also reverse summoned back to the world as Naruto said huh it seems that your pretty pets are over with as Menma gritted his state oh what loser I was going easy on you but it seemed that I have to use my true power and show you the power of a true child of prophecy as he rushed towards Naruto with incredible speed as Mito did the same thing both of them rushing towards him as both of them slammed their face towards Naruto but Naruto simply vanished from their eyes appearing behind them as he said huh too slow as both of them moved around ready to kick him but Naruto was now dodging both of their attacks as both of them were now using their all taichutsu as it is just like Kefla versus Son Goku well he was when he, he was using ultra instinct omen as both of them were trying their best to hit Naruto who was simply putting his hand and you can say folding his arms and dodging all of their attacks like they were nothing as both Menma and Mito grated their teeth as everyone was watching in awe as they knew that both Manma and Mito are using the power of the nine tears they are, they are almost like a blur to most of the Jonins but Haikages could actually see them after all they are just Ganins who are using the nine tears power no matter how big of a boost it actually is as while on the other hand Naruto was simply dodging and mocking both of them as Manma said oh what enough as he made a shadow clone two shadow clones and then a Rosen shuriken was formed in his hand as Minato glared at Jiraiya as Jiraiya was now not looking towards Manma now looking towards Manma and Mito as he was also confused Manma and Mito should be more than strong enough to beat this kid why why is this Naruto is so strong it does not make any sense as Manma and Mito are the child of prophecy they should have all the power in the world now he has more than determined that Naruto does not deserve this power and it should be Manma and Mito who has it. So he is simply planning how Manma and Mito could also have this power or force Naruto to give it to Manma and Mito. After all, they are the child of prophecy. As now, let us go 
towards Madman and Mito as both of them release their Rossen shuriken towards Naruto as Naruto smirk as he vanished from their eyes and next thing they knew as Naruto was rushing towards that bypassing both Rossen shurikens and in the mid of time he grabbed the Rossen shurikens from the shuriken side you know the air side shocking everyone even Minato was in utter shock he knew he was the one who developed two Rossen shurikens the wind style as well as the lightning style Rossen shuriken as he was in utter shock as Naruto grabbed both of these attacks and swing it towards both Manma and Mito who tried to jump away but also caught in the explosion. As Naruto was smirking at that as Manma said damn you loser how did you do that it does not make any sense. As Naruto smirked huh Manma you're just a weakling even with the 9 test power your weakness is so much pathetic as Mito said it how? How is that possible? We have the 9th power. It multiplies our power a lot. As Naruto said, huh, perhaps you've forgotten, Mito. Zero multiply by 1000 is always a zero. As Mito greeted her teeth as well as Menma. As both of them looked towards each other and nodded. And then Mito bring her hand out as Menma did the same. And then finally, a Rasengan started to fob in their hands. As they said, no, super power Rasengan. As then several clones arrived and started to add their chakra natures into it. As the whole Rasengan started to change as Minato was watching this in awe. Pretty impressed by his children as they were able to develop a new kind of Rosen Shuriken but also a different and you can say ultra supreme Rasengan. As both of them were now huffing and buffing putting a lot of night as chakra. It was a biggest you can say as big as Rasengan as which Baruto used against Momoshiki as both of them started to rush towards Naruto. Now you will lose you damn loser as both of them were rushing towards him as Naruto closes his eyes and said bring it. As both of them jumped into the air and with their ultra supreme Rasengan and slam it on Naruto as everyone was in awe as the whole barrier shattered as all the ground simply turned into nothingness as both Manma and Mito were now huffing and puffing. Their nine days chakra cloak simply disappeared from their body. As as he said, now that will teach that loser a lesson. As Manma said, as everyone was watching, even Minato, as all the Kage stood up, wanted to see this. As barriers simply shattered from that attack. As Jiraiya smirk. Well, it seemed that Naruto loses this battle, huh? Well, that was surely a great battle. But in the end, the child of Prophecy is always the strongest as he had a huge smirk on his face as Kushina had tears coming to her eyes thinking that her baby boy has died from that attack as even Tsunade felt a pretty bad about it but she was warning something was telling it that this is not the end definitely not. As Manma was laughing as well as Mito huh loser it seemed that you're dead already come on. Wasn't you the one the strongest in the world? Perhaps you're nothing compared to the power of a true child of prophecy. As both Manma and Mito were laughing as everyone saw a gigantic crater was formed and nothing was inside of it. As Manma said, huh, perhaps we have even disintegrated his body, huh? As Mito smirked, well, that's what he get for fighting against the child of prophecy. As both of them were laughing and then suddenly whole ground started to shake from it as everyone eyes widened and and then suddenly a beam struck the sky as sky started to turn pure red as then a beam started to come as lava started to envelop the whole area as both Madma and Mito jumped away their eyes widened when a figure was simply flying once again not even a scratch on his body as Naruto finally flew from the creator which he formed and said huh so that was all huh to be honest I was expecting more as both Menma and Mito's eyes widened at that as Minato and Kushina had a smile on their faces they thought that their son had just died as Jiraiya speak up what how is that even possible N no it simply cannot be that is the most powerful attack that there could even even be beside the Biju Dharma as they were thinking at that even Orochimaru created his tear he was thinking that the two Jin Churikis has taken care of his biggest problem even you can say Raikage had a sweat coming from his forehead he knew that if he was the one on the other side of receiving that attack it would be devastating while on the other hand Mei had a smile on her face already expecting this as not to smirk at that huh well siblings I think that your usefulness in this battle has come to an end so I think that I will end both of your pathetic lives since you try to 
me as this shook everyone as Minato as well as Kushina's eyes widen as Naruto simply vanished from everyone's eyes and the next thing they knew was the scream of both Menma and Mito as Naruto slammed their heads together as they were about to scream more when Naruto grabbed both of them from their mouth shutting both of them and vanishing from the area and next thing they knew as Menma was slammed into the ground as Mito was slammed into the ground as Naruto grabbed Menma's face and then you can say slam it on the wall and then started to run across all the wall as Menma was purely screaming in pain as Naruto grabbed him once again slamming him into the ground so hard making a gigantic crater into it and kicking him into the sky as Mito barely stood up and she was about to make a Rosengan when Naruto grabbed the Rosengan and dispersing it like it was never there as Mito's eyes widened as Naruto flipped her around and then slam her into the ground so hard making a gigantic crater into it and then kick her into the sky where Menma was about to hit the ground as both of them slam into each other and then slam into the wall with a gigantic boom as both of them were sent flying outside of the wall just like Neji as both of them were sent flying outside of it and next thing they knew Naruto was standing there with a small ball in his hand on the tip of his finger as he put it towards both Menma and Mito as their eyes widened that was the last thing they saw in Boom! As they were once again were sent flying in the center of the ring, all battered and burned all around. A steam was simply coming from their bodies as Naruto appeared in front of them. Huh, quite pathetic. This will definitely show you your true place in front of me. Child of prophecy, my ass. As he stood up from that, as he said, well, it seems that the battle is over, Proctor. As Proctor looked towards Naruto in utter shock and amazement, as whole arena was now in rumbles, nothing left after pure stadium, as people were in utter shock, what to say? As then suddenly clap, as clapping started to be heard from some area and then whole you can say arena erupt into cheers and all they even forgot about Manma and Mido the immense power of this kid was impressive as he took on the full power of the nine tails now they know that even if Manma and Mito were to ever lose control they have someone as strong as this kid as everyone was cheering as then suddenly a presence could be heard could be felt you can say across all the area as then suddenly two people started to appear from the sky as everyone looked upward to see it as everyone was looking upward as then it's person speak up hmm pretty impressive to be honest i was not expecting this kind of power as people were in utter shock these two strange people who seem to have byakugan in their eyes as even hayashi was pretty surprised to see that as momoshiki and kinshiki as momoshiki speak up huh what amazing power you have there. Tell me about it. Who are you? As Naruto looked towards him. Hmm. It is common courtesy that one pe one person tell himself about it. As Momoshiki simply smirk. Huh. So you're not just powerful as well as arrogant. Well, it does not matter. I'm a god. As Naruto simply chuckle. As he said. Huh. When, when a person gets some kind of power, he thinks that he's a god. Huh. Well, it does not matter. Tell me about it. As Momoshiki as well as Kinshiki, Kinshiki both were simply flying. As Naruto also started to fly within the air. As then Momoshiki smirked and said, Hmm. Well, my name is Momoshiki Otsusuki. As well as you can say Kinshiki also introduces himself. As Naruto said, Hmm, Otsusuki, what is that now? As Momoshiki speak up, well, Otsusuki clan is from you can say another planet or rather some other dimensions but it does not matter. The thing I'm more interested in how does you insects have this chakra of yours as he was speaking pretty loud as everyone could easily hear him as they were watching him as they were in the air so no one knew what to do as Minato speak up as he simply signaled his ambush. it seemed that it's getting troublesome here take all the civilians away as he simply nodded and started to evacuate people. As Momoshiki speak up, well, I don't know how you people got chakra, tell me about it. As Naruto said, hmm, why don't you tell me about that why are you so interested in it? As Momoshiki simply chuckled, huh, pretty stubborn. Well, long ago, one of our clan men came arrive here. His, her name was Kaguya Utsusuki. And I don't know where is she now. I cannot sense her in this planet anymore. And I'm pretty sure that she was here to, you can say, get the chakra fruit 
and that is the only source of chakra in this world as naruto said huh as long as as far as i know the person who gave the chakra to this world was Sage of Sixth Part, other known, otherwise known as Hagoromo Usususki. As everyone was watching this, they already knew about the, you can say, Hagoromo. And, but they did not knew that his clan name was Usususki. Also known as the Sage of Sixth Part. As Momoshiki speak up, hmm, Hagoromo, you say. It seems that Kaguya must have betrayed us. And she must have fallen in love with some pathetic, earthling, weakling. And... Give birth to that your so-called sage of six parts. It does not matter to me. And he gave you pathetic people chakra, huh? So she was the one who gave birth to that person who gave you guys chakra. As everyone was in utter shock, the mother of the sage of six parts, as as well as the Hagoromo sage of six parts, belongs to the Utsutsuki clan. And this is the clan of it. As everyone was watching this in utter shock, as Naruto said, hmm. So why are you here, huh? Yes, Momoshiki smirk. Well, genuinely, I do not want you to come here. Not right now, at least. It would have taken me some more time. But still, I want you to come here to get all the chakra. But your power is also pretty interesting. I'm wondering about it. What kind of power it is. I have never sensed it. Something like it. Though, I will take it when I end all the pathetic lives in this world and take all the chakra back they should have belonged to the Utsutsuskis as all the shinobi stands up on that all the kages were there were ready to fight off against this guy as momoshiki said how oh, much enough talking now i'll be taking back all the chakra especially yours power it is pretty special and unique i wonder what will happen if i have your powers as well as not to smirk hmm if you're the clansman of the sage of six parts then at least there will be someone who can push me beyond my limits though there is no one in this planet as momoshiki smirk well it would be Pretty amazing, right? As he put a hand towards Naruto, almighty push, sending Naruto flying to the ground. But Naruto was able to handle himself, gently landing. As Minato and all the Kages and all the Shinobis arrive beside them. As Shinobis quickly go through Hansai, fast start, great fireball Shusu, releasing a lot of fireball towards, you can say, the Utsutsuki clan. As Fugaku also arrived along with Itachi, they were also using their, you can say, Itachi looked towards Kinshiki as they released the, you can say, black flames, the Amatara flames towards Kinshiki who was enveloped in them. But he did not scream or anything. Instead, he started to absorb all of it as their eyes widened. As you can say, Raikage powered up his lightning armor, even Mei and even Orochimaru was pretty interested in it. But right now, he just wanted to observe this battle, what is going to happen and all. And wondering if he should continue with his invasion or not. As while on the other hand, San Shinobis were also pretty tensed up. Now it is not the about the invasion or anything because they already knew someone like Naruto and those two kids who can control the Knight's power, and someone like Naruto who can defeat their Jinchuriki with only a single finger. Then they do not stand any chance, and they were about to retreat if that is necessary. While this started to begin, as Naruto smirked and said, "Huh, so let's see." As Momoshiki simply absorbed all the attacks that were released towards him, the wind style, the earth, and all those simple attacks, the lightning and fire and all. As Momoshiki simply arrived to the ground, and then suddenly he was surrounded by shinobis. As Momoshiki smirked, as Kinshiki released his weapon, as he swung it in a manner, sending most of the shinobis flying, as he simply vanished, as you can say A rushed towards Kinshiki and said, Now you're going down, as he punched him, but to his surprise, Kinshiki grabbed his arm like it was nothing and then punched him so hard on his guard, sending him flying almost, you can say, halfway across the village. As Minato spread out all of his, you can say, flying Raijin marks all around him and then flying Raijin towards Momoshiki ready to Rasengan him but he simply grabbed the Rasengan and absorbed it as Minato's eyes widened as he flashed away when he was about to be hit by Kinshiki attack. As Momoshiki said, huh, these people are pretty pathetic, if I must say. Let's just simply end this. As Minato was about to flash towards Momoshiki once again when he was slammed by a staff of Mo Kinshiki, sending him flying into the wall. As Minato was in utter shock when most of his, you can say, 
Many of his bones were broken from a single attack of this guy as he said, Damn it, how's this, how are these people so strong? As both Momoshiki and Kinshiki started to fly with into the air. Now, I wish I'll get rid of you people, but you will not die. I already know it. As Naruto was simply watching the battle, as all the five Kages were simply played by Momoshiki and Kinshiki in the matter of seconds. As Momoshiki started to fly into the air and then a single hand upward and finally the biggest Biju Dama started to form as all the village was in utter shock as Rory Kage, even Orochimaru's eyes widened, he cannot be he cannot stay here any longer as he said retreat as many of his shinobi started to rush outside of the village even the sand shinobi started to run away already knowing that Konoha is history now and if these people are here to get all the chakra they will come for their village as well as Orochimaru greeted his tail he wanted to absorb even more especially those renegans in the eyes of these people but he no longer can stay here he rushed outside of the village reverse summoning himself and the many shinobis already knowing that he do not have a lot of time as all the people in the village started to panic as my my Mito, who simply you can say started to wake up from the healings of some medical you can say shinobis also were watching in utter shock wondering what is actually happening here as that Momoshiki said alright it's about time be gone this pathetic village as he threw the you can say the attack towards the village as everyone was watching as Minato was about to ready to you can use his flying rising but he saw that he was low on chakra and many of his broken bones were not helping him to trans you can say transfer this amount of power outside of the village it was even bigger than the 90s Biju Dama as he gritted his teeth only if he was healed he could have easily teleported this power outside of the village but where to begin with as not only smirk at that as he said well it is pretty amazing if i must say as everyone was pretty surprised when naruto simply started to walk towards the attack which was coming down to the earth but it seemed that i cannot afford this village to be gone not now at least so Right now, I am pretty interested. As he looked towards Momoshiki as Smirk, as Momoshiki also unknowingly Smirk wanted to see what this kid will actually do. As Minato said, Naruto, what are you doing? As Naruto said, huh, just having fun, dad. As he jumped into the air, and if you have seen Saitama, series then you will already know this scene as not to punch the biju dama or the blast which momoshiki released as everyone eyes widened as it, it was sent flying towards momoshiki with incredible speed as well as kinshiki as both of them had to use their running abilities to move away as the attack was simply sent flying outside of the atmosphere of the planet as everyone was watching in utter shock the ground underneath broke as momoshiki's eyes widened at that as he said what what kind of physical strength is that as naruto appeared in front of kinshiki and momoshiki as kinshiki rushed towards naruto with his staff as he said you are not going to touch lord momoshiki as naruto said huh i i have no time for the weaklings as naruto simply punched him on his guard before he can even move his staff as kinshiki's eyes widened at that as a force came from outside of his body as then several hits were delivered as Naruto simply went past him and just like Master Ultra Instinct versus Jiren as several hits were delivered to the body of Kinshiki as blood started to come from his mouth as all the five Kages were watching in utter shock as this guy devastated you can say decimated A with a single attack broke bones in Minato's body as well as defeated may with little to no trouble whatsoever and defeated many of the shinobis with just simply swinging his staff around as his bl blood started to come from his mouth as he said damn it as momoshiki gritted his teeth oh right, that is enough as he put his hand towards naruto almighty push releasing the biggest almighty push seen in history as the attack was rushing towards naruto with incredible speed as naruto was simply flying towards him to Momoshiki's utter shock, the force of gravity did not even affect him as Naruto simply went past the attack like it is not even there. As he said, huh, so this is your all power, huh? Pretty pathetic if I must say. Right now, I am using 10% of my original power. Here I thought you would be able to push me. As Momoshiki grated his teeth and said, don't underestimate me, you little brat. As then suddenly Kinshiki arrived beside him, Lord Momoshiki. We cannot take him on right like this. We have to use this as Momoshiki simply nodded, of course, 
as he put his hand towards Kinshiki and Kinshiki turned into a chakra fruit as Naruto raised an eyebrow and that hmm so that's a chakra fruit huh you made a person of your own clan into it as Kinshiki as Momishiki said shut up this is a tradition of the mighty Ososuke clan as Naruto narrowed his eyes towards Momoshiki as he ate all the chakra fruit and then finally his body started to transform as everyone watched in utter horror. The presence and the pressure they were feeling was beyond that of a nine tails as they were in utter shock when Kinshiki, sorry, Momoshiki transformed into this beam as you can see in the thumbnail as he smirked and she said hmm now this is going to be interesting as he rushed towards Naruto with blinding speed as no one saw him even move as even Naruto raised an eyebrow as he moved his hand blocking a punch that was you can say placed towards his face as Naruto smirked as that he was pushed back a little as Naruto smirked as Momoshiki smirked back and both of them started to use their Taichus of battle. Each and every, you can say, punch delivered to each other was shaking the whole place. Right now, most of the shinobis has already went outside of the village, not wanting to be part of this, especially Orochimaru retreat along with Sand, while on the other hand, A was watching in utter awe. As even he cannot move at those speeds, even Minato was watching with proud as well as a pretty surprise. He was not expecting this kind of speed and immense power as the whole village was shaking. As he started to realize that Naruto was pushing Momoshiki outside of the village as he smiled, smiled at that as he looked towards Kushina. Alright Kushina, we have to follow him. As Kushina nodded as several ambos along with A as well as Mei, Mizukage as well as Raikage also started to follow. Even Jiraiya was pretty intrigued about it. So he started to rush towards it, wanted to learn something from that so that Menman Mito can get even stronger. Who knows, he might even get a Rinnegan from, those two, from that person as he also started to follow him. As then Momoshiki landed there as Naruto smirked. How right. As Momoshiki said, huh, so you forced me outside of the village, huh? Pretty pathetic, just like all the humans. As Naruto said, huh, not, it is not that. I just want a open field so that we can fight. See around, there are forests, there are mountains, let's destroy them. As Momoshiki grinned at that, ha, huh, you are a bit intriguing human. As Naruto smirk, well, you can say that. As both of them once again rushed towards each other and slammed their fists together. As whole portion of the forest was devastated from a single punch. As Momoshiki gritted his teeth, he was getting nowhere. And that grin on the face of his opponent simply making him even more angry. Like, he was some insignificant person. And the other one is a dominant one, simply fighting him for his own fun, entertainment and he was no important or threat to him as Momoshiki gritted his teeth as he made a red Rasengan just like he made against Baruto as he slammed it towards Naruto as Naruto powered up the same side key blast as he slammed it into the Rosengan. both of these attacks boom and blown off a big portion or rather the mountain they were standing on was devastated into nothingness. As Minato, many Abus and several Shinobi, Raikage, Mei and their bodyguards also arrived to see the devastated scene that was all around them. As they were in utter shock, the once the landscape of forest and versus mountains was now devastated into large craters. As A said, Minato, what is the meaning of this? Just what type of thing that your son is made up of? As Minato said, um, I have no idea. As Mito, as everyone was watching in utter awe and impressed with this kind of power, as Raikage felt a bit of threaten with this power, wondering if both of these creatures simply will kill each other out. And while on the other hand, Minato as well as Kushina were watching with impress, as you can say, Tsunade was also pretty impressed. She had to agree that even she cannot keep up with that kind of power and speed as they could see only blurs within the air and whenever they crash into each other a large explosion or several you can say shockwaves were simply made and that was more than enough to tell them that these people are far beyond their league as well on the other hand Jiraiya only gritted his teeth and said damn it as he was wondering that how that how that kid got this kind of power and what kind of power it is as as he gritted his teeth now he has only one way there is only one person who can tell him the secret of this power so that he can give it to man man mito after all they have to save the world one day as and that person is none other than orochimaru as he gritted his teeth damn it he has to do it as 
Now, on the other hand, Naruto was now starting to look towards our Momoshiki, who was now panting hard as they were pretty near. As Momoshiki said, Damn it, what are you made up of? As Naruto smirked, Huh, it seems that you are, you are already tired. So I guess that you have already used everything in your arsenal. As Momoshiki greeted, it says, Not now. As he put his foot towards the ground, and then suddenly a boulder was formed out of nowhere. As you can say, a gigantic figure of the stone as well as lava inside of it was one on the same side of the nine tail fox as Naruto smirk at that as he rushed towards it as he was the boulder has a you can say the sword in his hand as he rushed towards Naruto but Naruto flipped past the sword and then a single punch and then suddenly the dragon fist was formed all around it wrapping all around the gigantic figure and crushing it into nothingness as Momoshiki greeted his state and jumped away as he was now panting hard as he pulled out a lot of beans from his hand and ate it. Now he has no beans in his hand, but still he got recovered as he said, Damage. <sighs> well, it seems that you're pretty strong, huh? Hmm. I just wonder if I have all of this power of yours. Just tell me what kind of power it is. As Naruto smirk and said, Well, that's a secret. Many people in this world want to know, but. You can say it, it is not even from this world. As Momoshiki raised an eyebrow, what do you mean by that? As Naruto said, huh, you will not understand it, even if I want to tell it. So why bother, huh? As Momoshiki greeted his teeth, all oh, right, now I have enough of this. As he put both of his hands upward and then suddenly a small ball was formed and then it started to get bigger, bigger, even more bigger. At the same size of first one he released and then all the elements started to rotate all around it as he put let out a scream and then the gigantic ball almost got double of the size of previous one as Minato's eyes widened. This ball was even covering the sun blocking the you can say light as Raikage had a sweat going through his head and said Minato if that hit the earth I don't know if even the planet can take this kind of power as Minato also nodded as Sunande said Minato we have to help him. As Minato said, what can we do? We cannot stop him. I cannot teleport it anywhere. As all of them were looking towards Naruto, who had a huge smile on, their on his face. They surprised it and shook, shocked everyone. As Naruto said, ha, all right, bring it on. As he put both of his hands together in a motion of a beam. As Momoshiki said, no, you will die with this planet. I don't care about the damn chakra fruit. As he released the attack towards Naruto, towards the planet, ready to blow it up. As Naruto smirked, and then the power started to gather in his hand, and then Naruto released it with ha! As a beam of power rushed towards. As Naruto finally let out a roar, and the, his beam almost got double up the side, as Momoshiki's eyes widened at that. His blast was simply being pushed back as Momoshiki said, What? It, it cannot happen! As he let out a scream, putting up more of his power into it. As Naruto only smirked at that and said, Huh, pretty powerful if I must say. Though, I'm right now using only 12% of my power as Momoshiki's eyes widened. Let's see what will happen if I use 13. As then Momoshiki's eyes widened at that, the blast was being sent, you can say, sent flying towards Momoshiki. As he was putting a lot of his power into it, trying to put it towards Naruto, but it was to nowhere. You can say it, it is same as Goku's spirit bomb versus Jiren, but this time it is only the beam just for the show. As Naruto was only smirking at that, though it could be a great scene. Let's just say that Naruto did not put the, you can say, beam instead. He was simply standing there and the aura was surrounding his body. As Momoshiki greeted his sheet, what is going on here? As a pressure was simply was released towards from the hand of Naruto, which he put towards the blast as everyone was watching in utter shock as an invisible force was putting the blast back towards Momoshiki as Minato said, amazing, as Kushina had a huge smile on her face, Minato, can you see that? His power is amazing, as even Raikage had to say it as well as Mei said, huh, well, I'll, well, yeah, well I already knew about it. As Sonata said, that is really impressive. He is just sending the attack back like it is nothing. As Jiraiya said, hmm, I have to say that he is really powerful. As Naruto finally smirked as he put both of his hands towards the blast as Momoshiki's eyes widened as the blast 
went towards Momoshiki as Momoshiki tried to stop it, but it was not stopping as Momoshiki let out a scream as Naruto finally let out a final primal roar as the blast was sent flying towards the sun as everyone saw it as then finally a small boom was on the sun though they did not though they did not see it but they could feel it as Momoshiki was sent flying towards the sun and he finally died. As Naruto said, huh, well at least he put me to 13%, huh? Well, that is more than enough for now. As he started to fly down as towards the Kage, as everyone was watching him in utter shock, don't know what to say to this kid anymore. As Naruto said, hmm, I'm pretty tired. Let's see. Well, I'm going to eat some ramen. See you later, Kokage. As Naruto simply vanished before Minato could even say anything. As Raika as May said, well, that was interesting. As Rai Kage and all the Kage simply looked towards each other as well as Shinobi from the hidden leaf as well as the Ambos as well as one of the Ambos thought in his mind hmm Lord Donzo have to know about this as now okay guys here I will left this part hope you guys like this part and if you guys want the next part of this series then the like goal is going to be 180 likes and for the comment goal it is going to be Sorry, for the comment goal, it is going to be 180 comments and for the like goal, let's see only 200 likes. Do that and I shall upload the next part as quick as possible for you guys. So yeah guys, here I will end this part. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. So yeah, peace.